think it's important to include a diverse population of older adults because we have diverse populations within our communities. Most research that we do now is pretty limited in terms of who winds up being in our studies. The aging population is becoming an even more important population. Most studies are limited in, in the, in the, to the homogeneity of older people that are included. So we need to have the diversity in order to make our research more applicable to a wide range of people who, who can benefit from it. Everyone doesn't view health the same. Everyone doesn't receive treatment the same. And so it's important to understand where people are coming from when, it, when, it, when they are dealing with health, but also wellness. Studies have shown the aging population is also becoming a more working population. And health has now become a vital statistic for them working and becoming a contribute, contributing a citizen to um, their community. Including older people in, um, in research for pharmacologic agents, for example, which are going to be used with older people, yet older people are often excluded from those because of many chronic conditions or or access the facilities or other other reasons. In this country we look at things like health and health care but we don't promote prevention and wellness enough and I think as seniors begin to live longer and get older um, they need to really have an opportunity to be well and have a quality of life while they're managing health and health issues. <laughs>